I have lied to all of you guys. I just want to come on here and admit my wrongs. I've completely lied to you guys. And I told you guys countless times that I'm going to do everything I can to get back with Lindsay. And the truth is, man, I haven't done shit. I've been a coward, man. I've been a loser just sitting in my room for a week. I haven't texted Lindsay. I haven't called her. I just don't really have the strength to do that. <laughs> man, I just, I've been weak, man. And I, I'm going to hold myself accountable for that because the day all this happened, man, I should have reached out to her. I've been I've been lying to you guys saying that I need to give her time, man. Bull****, man. I've, I've been sitting and laying in my room for a week straight just crying, feeling bad for myself when I'm the one in the wrong, man. I should have been feeling bad for her. I literally reached out for since day one, man, and made shit it right. But I just want to come on here, man, and tell you guys that I've, I've been wrong the whole time. And it took me a week to finally get in contact with her and tell her that we need to talk. <sighs> Excuse me for crying, man. I've just been... Every time I pick up a camera, I literally start cheering up. This is like my 10th try trying to do this. But I finally found the strength to text Lindsay, man, and we're going to meet up today, hopefully, and both we'll talk together. Hopefully, we can get to the bottom of something, but the most importantly today, man, I just want to see her face and apologize for my wrongs, man. I want to apologize to her, and even if we never get back together, I don't want any bad blood, man. I want the best for her, and I know she wants the best for me, and hopefully, both of our best is with each other in our future. Yeah, guys, like I said, I've just been a coward, man. I've been an absolute loser in my room. Feeling bad for myself, making other people feel bad for me when everybody should be feeling bad for Lindsay because I'm in the wrong, man. And I got to admit, all of your guys' comments, man, I read them every day. There's thousands of comments on all different platforms, man. People messaging me. You guys are the reason that that gives me strength to actually reach out to Lindsay. Instead of being a loser, man, I could just stand in my room my whole goddamn life feeling bad for myself while she moves on, man. I got to be a man, bro. Like, you guys' messages really helped me to push and do that. So, I mean, I just want to say thank you to everybody that reached out to me and her. I know she appreciates it a lot. And I finally talked to her yesterday. And... She's been real sad too, man. I mean, we were on the phone for hours yesterday, literally just crying. That's it, like crying. Like it wasn't, we didn't even speak about much, but all I knew is that hopefully I'm gonna see her later today and then we can both communicate in person because you know, over the phone really isn't the same. But I hope we could get to the bottom of something. But if not, man, I appreciate all you guys. Appreciate all you guys for love and support. Two days ago, I let my emotions take the best of me. And I was this close to deleting our YouTube channel. Like, I literally attempted to do it. I was looking how to delete my YouTube channel. And my brother stopped me from doing it. It would have been the biggest mistake of my life because I don't know what where mine and Lizzie's relationship is going, but if, if we don't get back together, all I can say is there's gonna be no more DL gang, no more YouTube channel. Like, the YouTube channel will get deleted. But my brother pretty much told me, like, wait everything out and if you guys get back together sh and me and Lindsay agree to do YouTube still then we're still going to do that but I was this close to deleting our YouTube channel and that was a big mistake and I really just my emotions have taken over my whole goddamn life man like I told you guys I've been an absolute loser I feel bad for myself way too much in this situation and it's time to be a man man like I'm going to do what I have to do just to make sure we're not on bad terms. So hopefully later on goes well, guys. I appreciate all you guys' love and support, like I said. I love you guys, man. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm about to be on my way to get her right now, and then I'm gonna talk to her first, and then we'll pick the camera up after and talk. What's up, guys? So me and Lindsay have been talking in the car for like an hour, and we just been talking about like kind of what happened and stuff, and I've already apologized off camera, and. Yeah, he did apologize to I just want to say on camera so they can see that I'm sorry for what I did. And I understand that it's, it was real childish of me. And, you know, I'm trying to act more mature now. And, uh, 
that won't ever happen again from my behalf and yeah yeah and we do want to clarify that like he didn't cheat on me like i'm not comfortable enough to say like what happened yet but like but we both want to clarify that like he didn't cheat on me yeah because like a lot that. of people are saying that i cheated on her or they were even saying she cheated on me but that's not the, what happened and we also talked about if we're going to talk about what actually happened and i think we're going to hold off on that and when lindsay feels right or confident enough to tell you guys what happened that she will but just know it's it has nothing to do with cheating so that's yeah. not, um, what do you want to tell them like how you been this last week pretty much sad this whole week but um we're talking which is a step towards you know better and yeah, i explained so. to her also that like I, like just like I said in the beginning of the video guys like I was I've been a loser just and really what she wanted was for me to man up and go to her and like you know admit my wrongs and just apologize and even apologizing is not going to fix anything it doesn't it, it shouldn't fix anything I think it's like something that I have to build up but yeah I told her that that I was wrong like so that was my main thing that I wanted to know that I was wrong and yeah. did take responsibility so <clears throat> and then something that people are asking is are we going to get back together and as of right now guys we don't even know we're just taking it one step at a time and i mean obviously the end goal for me is to get back together and talking to her obviously it's the same but when things happen especially negative things it's not you can't just rush into something you want to do it the right way and if it doesn't happen then it doesn't happen but if it does cool so guys me and Lindsay just talked about um i didn't tell her yet but i explained to her that i almost deleted our youtube channel a couple days ago and honestly like i really almost did and she even think that's like that's not the right thing to do because we yeah. don't know where our relationship is going to go and if we it, don't want to do that yeah and especially because we're more invested than like a year into this and like you guys have literally have so much to do with our relationship and how happy we are to read you guys comments all the time so like if it doesn't end up going, we already talked about it. Like, there's, I'm not about to take the YouTube channel. She's not gonna take it. Like, that's not gonna happen at all. I don't care what happens. We both have the password to our thing. And if we don't work out, then the YouTube channel doesn't work out. And that's, that's that. Like, it will be deleted. So I don't want anybody thinking that. Um, like, people are commenting saying, get a new girlfriend, get a new girlfriend, put a new girl. In. But that's not gonna happen. Like, she's not replaceable. And like I said, if it doesn't work out, the YouTube channel is going down. So. I just want to clarify that. So. Yeah, and I just want to give a big thanks to like everybody who's been DMing me or leaving a positive comment. Like, it really means a lot, and it honestly keeps me like going. The positivity really helps. So thank you guys for that. Yeah, and honestly, guys, without you guys like comments, DMs, and like just all the positive stuff you guys are sending us, it really does push us to just you know want to better ourselves and our relationship because honestly if we didn't have like all you guys doing that me personally i'd probably be more broke down not in a negative way but just in a way of like not having that extra fight in me to you know go and get in contact with her you know i might have waited longer or something but i don't know i'm rambling a little right now but bottom line is we really appreciate you guys commenting and dming us because it does it does push us to want to do more and better so thank you guys. So me and Lindsay talked about it guys and my first step that I want to do is I want to take her out on a date, you know what I'm saying? I want to show her that I love her a lot and she obviously knows that and she loves me a lot and I have no doubt in that but I do want to take her on a date and we haven't decided if we're going to film or not but if we do then we definitely will see if we can show you guys but yeah I just want to let you know just in case we don't film it that I am going to take her on a date soon. But, but we want you guys to like be a part of like everything yeah because you guys so, we literally our relationship are so how long were we dating before we started you was super quick yeah it was pretty quick before we started the YouTube we channel. literally started dating and maybe one or two months after we started a youtube channel so if you guys are wondering like why are we making these videos it's because some of you guys and that's a lot of you guys have been here since the beginning of our relationship so i think it's fair that we since you know share that vlog yeah we yeah it's literally we might have not even been together like officially when we started like we literally you guys have been a part of our life so it's only fair that we do from that from the beginning so you guys yeah. just have to say everything at the end of the day i just want what's best for me and that's literally to get my queen back but 
for the most part, it's been nothing but positivity. So, like we said, we appreciate that. And I will be taking her on another date. And I think that's going to do it for the video, guys. Me and Lindsay are going to hang out for a couple more hours. And then I got to take her home. And I just want to tell you guys that I love you guys. And appreciate every single one of you guys. We love you. Peace.